Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. The teachers are not going to be hidden in corners. We're going to be out in the streets teaching. So this is the positive uh, vibe that we need to see. You know what I'm saying? Because the Christian church, they're hiding in the church. They're behind the pulpit. Talking about, ha, give me your money, ha. Would a man rob God, ha. But they're not out here trying to show the black man and the black woman, look, this is what God said. Stop killing. Marry before you have sex. Stop having children for woman to woman. Be a man. Keep God's laws. A man should have a beard on his face. This is the Sabbath day. There's no buying and selling. There's no cooking. These are the things that you're supposed to be telling. Hey, bro, how can we stop the, the crime in the black community? You got any solutions to help us with? Yeah, how can we stop the violence in the black community? Just give me one solution, bro, so we could go back and share it with the young black man that need it. You don't have none? No? Okay. All right. Huh? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay, and you, you got kids? You don't have no nephews, nieces, or anything like that? No, and you know it's some young black man down the street, man. A lot of them got guns. So what are you gonna tell them to, to put the gun down so they won't shoot you? You gonna shoot back? Yeah, so that's the solution, you see what I'm saying? That's not a solution, to shoot your brothers down. You see, what I'm that's why we out here, we need this Bible. Because the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. If we apply that law within our community, it wouldn't be no crime. Right. The police department would be so happy, they'll be able to take vacations. Right now, the crime's so bad in the city of Chicago, they can't even take vacations. They're killing themselves, committing suicide. Uh, right, and a lot of them are committing suicide. A lot of the police, the, the police are committing suicide because the crime is so bad, and they feel like, man, I'm, I, I, I have no hope because the system is corrupt. But if we apply thou shall not kill in our communities, the police department will be able to take vacations with their family so they can work on the relationships with their wives, so they can work on the relationship with their own children. They can't even take vacation days. They have no furlough days. You see what I'm saying? So thou shall not kill will allow these brothers to take vacation time to spend with their family. You feel me? So how can we stop the violence in the black community, bro? That's what we are here. How can a black man come up? I'm a black man too, just like you. How can we come up with some solutions to stop the crime in the black community? positive examples we need to be able to see um, come together and have more good activities for us to be in more programs is that what you said yeah and just yeah more programs and more more conversations from people that are that are that are successful in their lives not just throwing money around here and there right. but need people you know active in, in, in conversation speaking with the youth and doing things understood what's your name bro ICL ICL hey that's a good name Thank my name you. is Hosea all praise hey awesome hey so I like what you said bro because we do need that all right we got to gather ourselves together hey, excuse me sir and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that's that's in the Bible excuse me sir what's your name Kurt. Kurt. hey look I asked this brother what solutions do you have to help stop the violence in the black community do you have any you gotta start from you gotta start from the foundation. Okay. I mean, uh only way that you gonna you gonna stop the violence, the people gotta unify and start at the crib at home and teach your kids how to, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, the difference between, you know, what you doing and how you doing. Okay, I like that. 
So we gotta have a standard, a manual, to be able to teach everyone on how to move, right. pretty much. Right. All right. All right. I'm gonna show you what both of y'all said is in the Bible. Read that. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you bread of adversity, because right now we're in the bread of adversity. We fighting, killing each other. The households is out of, is in a disarray. The black man is not in the house, and when he is, the woman is running the household. You know what I'm saying? The kids is out of whack, killing each other, just being disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this is a bread of adversity that we're in. Read on. And the water of affliction. And we're in a water of affliction. Why are we being afflicted? Because we're killing each other. The system is against us. The police is killing us. If we have a mental illness and we call the police to help help, the police come and kill the, kill the kid. When the mother was just trying to get help. But the police would come give them that water of affliction. Read on. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So the teachers are not going to be hidden in corners. We're going to be out in the streets teaching. So this is the positive uh, vibe that we need to see. You know what I'm saying? Because the Christian church, they're hiding in the church. They're behind the pulpit. Talking about, ha, give me your money, ha. Would a man rob God, ha. But they're not out here trying to show the black man and the black woman, look, this is what God said. Stop killing. Marry before you have sex. Stop having children from woman to woman. Be a man. Keep God's laws. A man should have a beard on his face. This is the Sabbath day. There's no buying and selling. There's no cooking. These are the things that you're supposed to be telling. You feel me? Uh, is there any more on that? Yes. Read on. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Uh -huh. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You got Zephaniah? Yeah. Give, give me that. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. So this is what you was going into. Both of y'all pretty much said this. Because we have to gather ourselves together. Read on. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Because we're not desired. The reason why we're not desired because when we did the great migration and we came up north when we came to Chicago, we came in this area. They wouldn't allow us in no other area. They stuck us right here in the Bronzeville area. It was over 300,000 people stuck here. We kept having babies. Why? Because that's what we do. We keep having babies. We don't die, we multiply. Right. So, once they stuck us here, they wouldn't allow us to go anywhere else. Why? Because we're a nation that's not desired. So we do have to gather ourselves together. But how do we gather ourselves together under what? Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, man. Because you what's going to help bring solutions to this madness that we're in. Why, why leave this? Well, well, what better place do you have to be? I got you, bro. Hey, Asael. So check this out. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So gather yourself, O nation, that's not desire, right? So we got to gather ourselves under the banner of God. Give me Ecclesiastes 12, uh, where it says the code conclusion of man. 13. So, yes, so when we come together, Asael, we got to come under the, what, 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 what do you practice? What religion are you in? Christianity. Christianity, okay. You know what today is? Yeah, no, today, like today. Saturday, right? What day of worship do Christians uh, typically worship? Sunday. Where is that at in the Bible? It's not. It's not in the Bible. You know what the Sabbath day is? Saturday, right? Do you know how to observe and keep the Sabbath day holy? Fast. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. And then I want you to know, I want you to ask yourself, do they teach me this in the Christian church? All right, read that for, uh, give me Ecclesiastes first. Read it. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Why us black men need to come together. Why we have to gather ourselves together. Because we are a nation that is not desired. And this is the conclusion of that. Read on. Fear God. You have to fear God. Meaning have a high reverence, respect for him. Because you got children. If your children don't respect you, they're not going to do what you ask them to do. That means you got to, what, bring punishment onto them. So we have to fear God because we know if we don't do what he say, there's going to be consequences and repercussions behind it. And it could be dire when, it, when, daddy, when daddy say, hey, I got to put my foot down. So read that again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Huh? Fear God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. And keep his rules, his household rules. You understand that? More on that? 
For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of the black man. We gotta come together and keep God's laws. So here's some of the laws right here. We were talking about the Sabbath day. Give me that in Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So God says remember. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The reason why he said remember because this happened to us. When this happened, slavery, we went on cargo slave ships and they beat our nationality out of us. When they beat our names out of us, they gave us different set of rules to keep. They said, look, don't keep God's rules, keep my rules now. You see what I'm saying? So God is saying now, remember the Sabbath day. We have to gather ourselves together and keep God's rules. Some of his rules is keeping the Sabbath day holy. We don't. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So six days we supposed to labor and do thy work. Six days. What is the first day? First day of the week. Sure. Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. So he says six days. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six days. In those six days you do your work. Right? Read on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on the seventh day, you're not supposed to work. You're not supposed to do no work. Read on. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. So your household is supposed to observe the Sabbath and your business. If you have a business, they're supposed to shut down on the Sabbath day too. No work. Read on. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Meaning you got to shut down the equipment too. If you got an automated business, you have to stop the automated business. Maybe you sell something on your website. Your website has to shut down on the Sabbath day. Read on. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. So the six days the Lord made heaven and earth. So now he's giving you the reason on why you have to do it. Because I did it. I labored on six days and then I observed the Sabbath. So you as my child have to do the same thing. Read on. The sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. And rested on the seventh day. So now let's get some ways on how to observe it. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. And if the people of the land shall bring uh, bring where or any victuals on the seventh day to sell. So the people of the land is, you look, and in various instances in the Bible, we was in captivity. Meaning we was in servitude to a lot of different nations on, on the earth. Just like today, we're in Brownsville neighborhood. We got Arabs, we got Asians in our neighborhood that's selling things. So God is saying, look, if the people, if the other people of the land bring you things to sell, you know, on the Sabbath. We will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So you can't buy and sell. There's no working and there's no buying and selling. Read on. Or on the holy day. And that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every death. So we can't buy. So now what, what else we can't do? No cooking, right? Let's get that. So we can't buy and sell and we can't work. So these are some ways to keep the Sabbath day holy. Did they teach you that in the Christian church? No, because they go what? They go worship God on the first day of the week. That is the day that you're supposed to be laboring. But on the seventh day, just like God did, you're supposed to keep the seventh day holy. So is the Christian church blessed by God? Think about it. Give me Isaiah 58 real quick. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. So if we turn away our foot from keeping the Sabbath, read on. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways. So we can't do our own ways. We have to keep the Sabbath day holy. We can't turn our own foot. You see what I'm saying? So these are some of the solutions on how we can stop the violence in our community. Because when we, what, not keeping the Sabbath day holy, bad things happen to us. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.